Well, since 5 o'clock, we've been walking through the historic Mervish Village. Southern Accent here on Markham Street is one of the oldest establishments uh, here. Now, the New Orleans-style restaurants uh, moved on to the block back in 1984 and has been thriving ever since. And this is one of about a dozen businesses that are packing up and shutting down to make room for development. It's easy for me to see it as sad, but I am too exhausted from moving books to really let an emotional <laughs> impact set in. It's the end of an era for Peter Bercamo, whose comic book shop is on the move after 30 years planted right here in Mervish Village, the artist colony located just off Bloor Street that happened by accident. Uh, I think these properties were originally purchased so that uh, a parking lot could be built for honest ads. And uh, when the city didn't allow that, uh, the uh, second best option was to uh, build a little uh, village, uh, kind of a Greenwich Village type thing with artist studios. By the late 70s, this strip, owned by Honest Ed himself, was home to a variety of specialty stores, restaurants, and niche businesses. Daryl Dorsk, a blown glass artisan, was one of the first on the block. There was mandatory Sunday closing laws, mm -hmm. and Markham Street had an exemption uh, as well as uh, along with Chinatown. So Markham Street used to be open on Sundays? It was open even when the rest of the city was shut. I haven't seen any of those yet. Lewis, who was in the process of packing up his three decades old video store, tells me he was stunned when he learned that the village had been sold to developers. I think Toronto is really good at one thing and it's kind of getting rid of anything that makes it unique. <laughs> we spent the day taking a walk down memory lane with some of the store owners here. Butler's Pantry, a popular cafe and bakery, has officially shut down. It's a Markham Street location. Part of you doesn't want to come to terms with the fact that something that you've built for so long is coming to an end. I grew up with my parents working here. Across the street is Samantha Chin's specialty store that has been here for about 10 years, but the building 602 Markham has been a dedicated rock store since 1987. This street the street has meant a lot to us because Ed Mervish gave a niche industry, especially at that time, an opportunity to grow and to actually make profit at a subsidized rent. As the moving trucks roll in and owners prepare to leave, many are calling this the beginning of a new chapter. We outgrew this space a number of years ago in terms of our offerings. And, and now you have your push. To, and so, to, and it's like, yeah, it's yeah. like, get out the door and try something new, right? And so we are, we're not moving far. We're moving around the corner to Harvard Street. What does the future hold for your business? Uh, we're going to move online. Oh. And uh, so we're going to expand and uh, focus online and have a po podcast as well. Everybody has to move. And I mean, I'm part of everybody, so i got to move too, right? So I'm, I'm trying to look forward and not backwards, but it's been a lot of fun. No condos are planned for the actual Honest Ed's building. As for the village, though, plans are still unknown. Some of the owners, uh, shop owners here tell me, though, that there has been talk that it could be a mixture of retail and living. Now, all these business owners, they have to be out of here by the end of January. Southern Accent will be setting up at a new location at College in Ossington.